report police are told to run and hide during an active shooter situation. Internal aviation documents uh, obtained by CNN instruct officers not to become part of the response to an attack. If evacuation is, in, is impossible, you should find a place to hide where the active shooter is less likely to find you. They say to blockade yourself in and not let the guy in. But, I mean, this is what you would tell the general public in my mind. You tell, you know, the single mom with three kids or they say, hey, don't be a hero guy. Just go stand in the corner and let the police handle it. Well, the police aren't exactly handling the situation. They're not telling the police to run and get an AR-15. They're not telling them to run and get the shotgun, run, get the body armor, then go back and engage. They're saying, hey, stay away, let the guy run wild in the airport, and then eventually, hopefully, the SWAT team will come and make everything better. Uh, it, it's not a very reasonable situation when you think the police are supposed to keep you safe. At least they're telling kids in middle school to throw canned goods at an intruder if he breaks into the classroom, at least they're telling the kids in what is this Alabama, if the guy comes in there and he's trying to kick up some stuff, take a can of cream corn and bust the guy's head open. At least you'll have some kind of chance. But they're telling the police not to do that, even though they want the kids to defend themselves. So please defend yourself wherever you are, if at all possible. And one person uh, who was unfortunately killed by um, a shooter or a uh, assailant is the, a new mayor in Mexico. She had just been inaugurated. And this is right outside of Mexico City, or a Mexican city, I should say. Uh, they say they believe it was pretty much a chilling effect going out to the other mayors, telling them that they don't, if they don't get down with the cartels, that they could suffer the same fate as this poor lady. So our thoughts and prayers do go out to her. But you know, this is what happens in places like Mexico. We don't have a high civilian uh, ownership of firearms. A lot of people don't have the means to defend themselves. And speaking of somebody who needed some defense, not saying he should have shot the kids, but. Teens attack a mailman for delivering Christmas presents late. And for all the ridiculous uh, reasons that you could attack somebody, uh, attacking a mailman for something that really wasn't his fault. You know, he can only deliver the packages that are there in the station. Uh, but they decided to attack this poor guy for delivering Christmas packages just a little bit too late. And our final story before we go on to more special reports. Americans named government as top problem facing the U.S. in 2015. And this is a Gallup poll. And they say the concerns about the government outweigh the concerns over the economy, unemployment, immigration, and other, other issues, according to a survey. So it's not just us who are concerned about the government. And a lot of people say, you're anti-government. I'm not anti-government. I'm anti-government cor corruption. I'm anti-government brutality. I'm anti-government using my tax dollars to go make another country worse. And then saying, well, you need to use more of your tax dollars to make the country better. You know, when you ask them how much... Should you give? The only answer is more, more, more. Stay tuned for more InfoWars Nightly News coming up right after this. Shane Steiner's involvement with InfoWarsLife.com truly happened in an organic way. I went to high school with Shane, his brother, knew his parents well, and he was visiting the office once, hadn't been to the office in years, and said, wow, I notice you're making and selling supplements. Do these really work? Because I've tried a lot of supplements as a, a workout enthusiast, and I really think most of them are hype. And I said, here, take some home, try it. Well, a few weeks later, he came in blown away and said, I want to buy three boxes of this stuff to get my friends and family. It's simply amazing. He said, why does it work so well? And I said, listen, go to InfoWarsLife.com, watch the informational videos with Dr. Group and others. They understand how it all works. I know that it works for me. That's all I understand. The science, the facts, the research, people's testimonials, they're all on InfoWarsLife.com. You can check it out for yourself. I wanted to go to the gym. I wanted to push myself and work out harder. And that led to me being able to come out and do stuff like the barefooting and the surfing and stuff like that, which I've never done. I, I never would have done that uh, two years ago. Shane has said over and over again, more than just libido and energy, it made him want to get into the gym more. It made him want to get in better shape. And believe me, the Steiners have amazing genetics. Uh, his brother is a world champion steer wrestler. His dad, Bobby Steiner, is a famous world champion bull rider. They've got natural genetics. But when you added this to the mix, in Shane's own words, it took him to the next level. Shane noticed the mental clarity. 
Bobby was able to work out longer and gain muscle mass. He's already completely shredded. I gotta admit, for me, the biggest effect has been libido. Now, I've never claimed to have a body like some beach model, but back when I was 20, 22 years old and worked out every day, I looked great. But over the years, and being married, and having three kids, and working 18 hours a day, I gained basically 100 pounds. And it's been a long process of losing that weight in the last four years. But if you look at the photos and the videos of what I looked like four or five years ago versus today, the results are dramatic. I'd already cleaned up my diet, I was working out hard, but I'd only lost about 20 pounds. It was adding the other key ingredients ingredients from InfoWarsLife.com that helped me personally go to the next level and shed another 35 pounds. This has actually made me feel so good that uh, here lately, about a year ago, I started training jujitsu and that kind of led to doing some boxing and kickboxing. I mean, it's, it's amazing that two years ago I was on the couch and couldn't even tie my shoes. And now I'm training with MMA fighters and uh, just doing stuff that I never thought that I'd, I would be doing ever again. So Super Male Vitality has allowed me to do some amazing things. And if it has those kind of effects for me, I know that it will do great things for you. So just try Super Male Vitality. I promise you, you'll love it. And finally, let's look at Anthony Gucciardi, Infowars.com reporter. He also works with Dr. Group and others helping develop the newest, most cutting edge, high quality supplements. Let's take a look at what happened when he tried to barefoot ski for the first time with the Steiners. And remember, we're not making fun of him. He had the will to get in the arena and he's lost more than 10 pounds in the last few years of fat and gained more than 10 pounds of muscle and Anthony chalks it up to super male vitality as well. Bottom line, folks, you want to discover the power of super male vitality and super female vitality for yourself by visiting InfoWarsLife.com today or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Ladies and gentlemen, don't let Obama be successful when it comes to starting civil unrest and riots in this country. They will use that as a, as a civil emergency to bring in a type of soft martial law like Europe has done after they brought in all the jihadis and allowed them to attack. The stage is set for classical martial law in the United States. George Soros, who's overthrown many other countries using similar divide and conquer tactics, is on record funding Black Lives Matter and other groups, and the mainstream media is trying to exacerbate tension in local communities. And out of this crisis, they intend to bring in the, quote, Strong Cities UN initiative that globalizes, internationalizes local government. It's political correctness intimidating people to submit to this international takeover. Now, it's been known for a long time, and it's come out in federal court, that many of the militias, though they're constitutional and made up of great people, end up getting infiltrated and led in many cases by federal provocateur or even worse, by foundation provocateurs like the Southern Poverty Law Center that ran Elohim City where the reported Oklahoma City bombing got hatched, which we know was an inside job, major false flag. 2016 is here, ladies and gentlemen. It is already the fourth and all hell is breaking loose in the stock market, uh, militarily overseas, so many issues. And the establishment is going to want a political diversion here in America. And they've been putting out the talking points that white terrorists are about to start attacking, that white terrorists are about to be involved in insurrection while pushing the military, pushing veterans, pushing citizens of all race, colors, and creeds with more and more federal occupation, more and more federal tyranny. So let's be clear. We're about to go in here and show you some of the articles here in a moment. The Bundys and others have very legitimate issues with the federal power grab over land outside of law and people doing controlled burns and being called arsonists and people being charged. The federal government is power grabbing everywhere. It's true. It's lawless. It's shutting down power plants outside of law. It's opening borders outside of law. It's funding ISIS and Al Qaeda outside of law. But all that's coming out and the establishment is in political trouble right now. So they want to overturn the chessboard right now. We need Americans to realize we're all being played off against each other and to watch the weaponized media on MSNBC and other places absolutely promoting race war in this country is out of control. 
That's why I'm here in Phoenix, and I'll tell you later in the broadcast, David Knight will, who I'm interviewing. A uh, key individual to hopefully work with to try to calm tensions, to try to bring America together if it's possible. I mean, that's how serious the situation is, is that I'm working around the clock. I know a lot of people that are good inside the Pentagon that are working around the clock, good people in the Secret Service, uh, but good people at the grassroots level of every race, color, and creed, liberal, conservative, libertarian, uh, Muslim, you name it, who understand the larger globalist pl program for destabilization. We all have differences. We all have real beefs with each other. Nothing's perfect. Okay, and America has a lot of problems, but the globalists want to use those problems to basically bring it down into a truly fascistic system of total control. Let's go inside and look at some of these articles. Right here. CNN to provide an hour of airtime to Obama's gun control pitch today. Town hall, full pitch, and, the, and what it's really about is executive power outside of law. Then the even more hardcore gun control, I predict, is coming after this, but this is unprecedented. The Hammonds, excellent article by Kurt Nemo, targeted because government wants to steal their land. The entire story by Kurt Nemo of how they stole the land, how they're stealing other people's land, how it's criminal, how it's wrong, how they've persecuted them, Absolutely, they've been wronged. Absolutely. My issue is the timing of this now allows the whole debate to not be about the gun grab, to not be about all the gun control, to not be about the victim disarmament, but to be about citizens with guns taking over buildings. It's an empty wildlife refuge building. The feds are grabbing everybody's property in the area. They're the ones with armed force out of control. But again, it's the federal government, not even the feds on the ground that are the problem. It's it's the whole UN Agenda 21. But read that article, you'll understand it. Then the other perspective, people are asking on InfoWars, well, why are you pro-Bundy and then anti-Bundy? We're not, we're showing both sides. And Paul Watts has written an article that's on DrudgeReport.com, Oregon standoff could boost Obama's gun control push. I started saying this yesterday, as soon as we had the news early in the morning, this has started Saturday night. Kurt Nimmo had already written about it Saturday night. And obviously, by the time I looked it up, they were already blaming the Second Amendment. It's obvious. It's the timing of this, okay? Plus, the Hammonds say they don't want the Bundys there. That's another problem. It was the grazing rights of the Bundys in Southern Nevada. That's why we supported them. They, they were in the right completely, okay? Continuing, liberal media tweets call for National Guard cops to confront the wildlife refuge occupiers, many liberals want Waco-style response to government. They want them killed. See, it's all about race war. These are the Soros White House operatives already trying to make this racial. It has nothing to do with race. We're literally walking into their trap, and you know there's provocateurs there on the ground, probably not even from the FBI, but from the big foundations, just like we exposed Hal Turner and others. So continuing, the article is up on Infowars.com. You want the real breakdown of, of what's happening? There it is. Uh, continuing, you heard this. This is the talking point just a few weeks ago. MSNBC, white terrorist, not San Bernardino terrorist, not Islamic terrorist. White terrorists are the problem. But yet, you look at the data of white men with guns wreaking havoc on this country. Why aren't white men all coming forward? I, I Why don't actually... you call on them to do that? Boom. So it's all white men. They're the ones wreaking havoc, even though statistically it's one of the lowest crime rates out there. Meanwhile, radical Muslims invade churches, throwing Christians out and beating them up in Germany. Articles, mainstream news, link to the article, Infowars.com. So that's what's really unfolding here. And then meanwhile, they want to distract from coming after our guns. They want to distract from the stock market plunging 450 plus points. They want to distract from all the things that are happening with this, quote, armed takeover that's happening, the FBI says they seek a peaceful end. Armed group vows to stay at Oregon Refuge. Uh, this is, again, an unfolding situation that we will be breaking down in great detail. Uh, meanwhile, we've got machete-wielding man vandalizes mosque, leaves bacon at the door. This is part of the artificial clash of civilizations that Dick Cheney wrote about in the PNAC documents back in 2000, Rebuilding America's Defenses, Project for American Century. They said, we're going to help radicalize Muslims, get them funding, do all this stuff. You know, we need a big catalyzing attack in the West. This transcends administrations. The Democrats do it too. We're going to use this crisis then to invade the world, create a Pax Americana. But the real betrayal is it's not even a Pax Americana. 
uh, an American empire. It's a globalist empire that we get the blame for. We get sucked dry and then we collapse. So that's the breakdown. David Knight's coming up with more a little bit later in the broadcast.